Hey, welcome to Google Guru. This video will cover the basics of Google Spreadsheets. I'm sure most of you use spreadsheets for your data when reporting and analyzing information. So I just want to cover the basic features available to you. I've already created this spreadsheet by going to my drive, clicking on the create button and selecting spreadsheet. As you can tell, I've already entered some data and I've formatted it. I did this by creating borders and adding fill color. This isn't necessary, I just like the way it looks because it's easier to understand. But what's really important is to be consistent with your information. If you look in the, my tax column, the numbers aren't formatted correctly. They're not in currency, and this might eventually confuse me down the road. So I want to fix that by highlighting the column, clicking on Format, Number. From here, you have lots of options how you want to format your numbers. I'm going to do currency and I'm going to choose the second one because I do have some that have cents. So I'm going to select that one. Okay, so now that looks formatted correctly to me. Probably one of the greatest things about spreadsheets is the ability to create functions. So for instance, my last column is the grand total. I would basically need to add my subtotal to my tax to get my grand total. But I don't have to do that manually. I can simply insert a function. I would do this by selecting the cell, clicking insert, function, and then sum. And then I can select my two rows and hit enter. You could also calculate this by entering the equal sign and then typing in sum. And then again, selecting the two rows you want to add. A really easy shortcut is clicking on the cell that you've already inserted the function to, going to the right corner, and you get this cross and just drag it down to all the cells you want to apply the function to and it populates the information automatically for you. Obviously there's a lot of functions you could use to analyze all this information you have. Let's say I want to find out the sum of all the products I've sold today. I'm going to type an equal sign, sum, and then select the cells. Another useful function would be average and you would do equal sign and then type in average and then you can just pick the one you want. Again, selecting the cells. And my last example here is going to be finding the max, which basically pulls the highest total from the last column. So I would do that by entering equals max. From this information, I can gather how much I sold that day, the average of each order, and the highest order. Now I have all this data, but I have no way to visually see it. So let's create a chart to understand this information. You can either go to insert, chart or you could click on the chart button right on the dock. The first thing I need to do is select my data. I'll click on get data range and I'll select the data I want to pull. I want to pull the item. I want to compare that to the quantity so I'm going to click add another range. I'm going to select my quantity column. I'm going to hit OK. And right now you can tell my chart doesn't recognize that item is actually the header, so I'm going to check this box so it doesn't count it in the actual chart. Next, you can go to the Charts tab and select the type of chart that you want. I'm going to use a column chart. And then my last tab is Customize. And from here, I can enter the chart title. And I can also enter in the Horizontal Axis title. And once that looks good, I'm going to hit Insert. I'm going to move my chart. You can just format it so it's easier for your viewers to read. So obviously this is just a very simple chart comparing the items to the quantity sold. Charts are a great way to visually compare your information. All right, so I'm done with this sheet, but before I move on, I need to name this sheet. So I'm going to click on the drop down arrow, rename, and then to add a new sheet, you can press this plus button and I'm going to give it a name right away. Okay, so I just inserted some information. This is an example of a time when you have a lot of data and it's just really hard to understand or even sort through. So a great way to do this would be to highlight the top row and click on this funnel, it's the filter button. This filters your column so you can find certain information. So click on this arrow and then I'm gonna click clear and I just wanna pull information on food that are appetizers. So I'll just check this and I'll click OK. So this sifts through all of that data and pulls the type of food I want. I could again do this for any of the columns, 
and it's just a really simple way to find what you're looking for without having to scroll through. Google Spreadsheets also allows document owners to protect entire sheets in a workbook. So in this instance, let's say I don't want anyone to be able to edit this inventory list. So what I can do is I can click on this drop down button again, protect sheet. So right now, anyone who I invited can edit this sheet. But as you can tell, I've shared it with one other person. So I can either only allow myself to make edits to this, or I could allow myself and whoever I've shared it. And you could select that person. I'm gonna only allow myself to edit it just because it's sensitive information. And then I'll click done. So now this is protected with that lock. If I want to share this with anyone else, I could click on the share button and I could add their names. And from here, you can decide the permission setting. They can either edit, comment, or view. I'm only gonna let this person have access to view. Then I'm gonna hit share and save. And then I'll hit done. All right, so this was just a basic introduction to Google Spreadsheets. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the section below the video or ask this on Google+. Thanks!